Okay, welcome back to another food vlog here in Tucson, Arizona, the best city for food in the state. Today we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different than what we did last time. I'm gonna be covering the most unique foods throughout the city. Now we are in the Sonoran Desert, so most of these dishes will have a Sonoran slash a Mexican influence on it. So maybe a little similar to last time, but different in the same sense. So nevertheless, we are here at our first stop which is Anita Street Market here behind me. Uh, pretty unique location just on the side of a street here. Uh, very low key, so let's head on in and get this video rolling. Okay, so Anita Street Market is known for their red chili burritos and homemade tortillas. Food just came out. This is what the burrito looks like, that red chili looks excellent the tortilla smells really really good keep that in mind uh, let's dig in okay so right off the bat the chili is not as hot as i expected it to be which is nice uh, it's easier to eat i don't need as much water and then i think the meat is some type of steak uh, but that combined with that red chili and then the homemade tortilla is really really good the tortilla stands out, obviously the bread makes a sandwich, it's the same as it makes a burrito, so bread, most important part, and their tortillas do not disappoint here. Uh, just an overall really, really good burrito. But I think my favorite part about this spot is just how low key it is. It's really off the beaten path and you have to go out of your way to find it. And just by the people walking in here over the last few minutes, you can tell it's really for the locals only. And the people inside were also super, super nice, really happy to see the camera and really, really friendly. Uh, that's a place that I wanna do business at and help out. So highly recommend Anita Street Market. You can't go wrong here. All right, so now I'm gonna jump in the car and head to the next place. Okay, up next, probably the most anticipated place of the whole trip, we have Cafe Santa Rosa, famous for their Indian fry bread. Uh, I've heard a lot of good things about this. It's very unique to Tucson, I believe. So let's head on in and try this out. Okay, so the food just came out. I went with the sampler plate, which means we get three different kinds of fry bread. Here's what it looks like. It looks very similar to what a langos looks like in Budapest. Now, if you're not familiar, that is one of my top favorite foods of all time. So I'm not sure how it's gonna stack up to that, but we have the green chili, red chili, and then a traditional Indian fry bread with beans and top with cheese, uh, lettuce, and tomato. So let's dig right in. All right, starting with the green chili. I'm not really sure how to approach this. I'm just gonna pick it up like a taco and dig in. Okay, so that green chili really is good meat, but the standout is obviously the dough. Um, just fry bread, you can't really go wrong with it. And then when you add on that meat with that green chili, really, really good. Okay, moving on to the more traditional Indian fry bread. This thing is loaded with toppings. Looks really, really good. Okay, the more traditional one, maybe not my favorite, just refried beans with a bunch of taco toppings. Uh, the bread was obviously pretty good, just like the rest, uh, but I think the meat on the green chili was better. Now, final one, the red chili. Let's dig into this one. Okay, so I think without question, the red chili is my favorite. Uh, after taking a couple bites, uh, definitely stands out to me. That meat just has so much flavor and then combined with the fry bread makes for a great, great dish. So my recommendation would be to go with either the red or green chili, depending on which you prefer, and then go with the big one. Um, I think you can probably ditch the sampler. Unless you want to try it all, this is a good option. But yeah, I can definitely recommend coming here. These fry bread are very, very good. All right, back to the car and off to the next stop. Okay. 
Okay, just arrived at our next stop now. We have a little bit of a twist on this one. We're pulling up that Monsoon Chocolate to try the chocolate taco. Uh, I've been looking forward to this one for quite a while. I've heard a lot of good things about it on reviews online. So let's head on in and give this one a whirl. All right, here we go. Just got the taco. Not gonna lie, this was $10. Uh, a little expensive, uh, already pre-made too, so I don't know. We'll see. Let's see what the hype's about. It is frozen, so obviously I would assume there is ice cream in it, but nevertheless, let's dig in. Okay, so right off the bat, the chocolate that's on top of this is actually really, really good. I'm not gonna lie. Very, very tasteful and very rich with flavor. Seems like there's some uh, pecans as well on top. And then the ice cream that's inside is like an almond butter or pecan butter, I'm not really sure. And then a waffle cone shaped like a taco. So overall, it's actually really good. So in there you can get a wide variety of different chocolates, different flavors and whatnot. Seems like a great selection. And then there's also coffee as well. So, and actually a really cozy spot, looks awesome in there. So I can definitely recommend going here. This might be one of my favorite things I've tried so far in the video. Uh, so cannot recommend Monsoon Chocolate enough. It might be a little expensive, but overall, it's definitely worth it. Okay, just finished up. Now moving on to the next place. All right, we have arrived at the next stop, Caramello King. They are famous for their quesadillas with all sorts of toppings on them. Uh, heard a lot of great reviews, seen it on a lot of different reviews online, so excited to check this out. Let's head on over and place the order. Okay, we have moved inside. The food just came out here. We have our quesadilla. Let's open it up. Looks incredible. Uh, we'll add some toppings as well. Uh, since that I think is what you're supposed to do so let's throw some of these on here all right so we just added some of our toppings now what separates this from the rest is they actually put avocados on it with beans as well uh, that's different something you don't normally see amongst the other places the avocado is supposed to melt in with the meat uh, let's give this a whirl Mm. Okay, so right out of the gates, you can immediately tell that the avocado has a huge impact on the taste of this quesadilla. Um, really something different and it really adds a lot of flavor to it and explodes in your mouth. Uh, the beans can't taste as much, the meat is really, really good. Uh, and then obviously the toppings, you can kind of customize that however you want, uh, just like any of the other places, but that avocado separates this from the pack. And this place is very similar to Anita Street Market in the fact that it's low key, not a lot of people here. I feel like not a lot of people know about it, which is what I love uh, getting to explore places like this off the beaten path. That's where you find the real good food. So now I'm gonna jump back in the car and we'll head over to the next spot. Okay, the next stop is kind of a fun one. We are here at EG's, known for their frozen lemonade. Uh, this place was founded actually right here in Tucson back in the 70s um, and is known for providing the customers with the frozen lemonade on extremely hot days in the Sonoran Desert. So, might not be the most ideal day as I'm doing this review in the winter, but nevertheless, let's head on in and give this a shot. Okay, doing this review from the car, but here we have it, the lemon flavored EG. Kind of looks like water ice back home in Philadelphia. I know a lot of you don't even know what water ice is, but it's the correct way of saying Italian ice, strictly a Philadelphia thing. So if you know, you know, but this is exactly what it looks like. So let's try it out. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much tastes like water ice, um, lemon flavored, a nice refreshing taste. Obviously it's not a 110 degree day out, but I would assume that if it was 110 degrees, this would taste absolutely fantastic. So I can see why it was started down here in Tucson. 
So anyways, that's just a fun, quick little stop. But now let's head to our final destination for this video. Okay, we have made it to the final stop, Percheron behind me, known for the bacon wrapped burrito. This is another one that I've been looking forward to for a while after seeing Mark Weens eat it on his YouTube channel. He always has great videos when it comes to food reviews, but I mean, look at this. We are on 12th Street, known for the Mexican food here in Tucson, and this is just a little pop-up on the side. It looks like my kind of place, so let's head on in and try this one out. Okay, the burrito just came out and whole Holy shit, this thing is massive. We've got a lot going on right here. Um, I think inside we have steak, avocado, onion, tomatoes. I mean, it is loaded. And then homemade tortilla, bacon wrap. We got cheese as well. Um, this thing is one of a kind. So let's dig right in. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, so normally when I do food reviews, I always say how there's an explosion of flavor with some of the things that I try, but this is like the ultimate explosion of flavor. You can really taste absolutely everything. Um, one thing I will note is the bacon isn't too overwhelming with the flavor. Uh, it adds a really good taste but it doesn't take over the entire thing and then those avocados it's very similar to Carmelo King uh, but I love that there and this is that much better I avocados in a burrito really really good and then that steak obviously really good as well uh, mixed with all the toppings and cheese I mean this thing uh, doesn't get much better than this Okay, so I think without a doubt we have saved the best for last and I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that this is the best burrito I've ever eaten and this place easily rivals any of those other seven places that I included in my last video. Um, this is one of the best uh, things you can eat in Tucson. Uh, so I cannot recommend Percheron more. Uh, I know that's, I say that about every single place, but this place especially, you have to come if you're ever in Tucson looking to eat some incredible Mexican food. Anyways, that is gonna conclude this video. I hope you guys enjoyed another food vlog from down here in Tucson. This is becoming my new favorite city for food and I think it should be yours too. Uh, if I had to pick two places that were my favorites, I would definitely say Percheron being number one. And then I'm not gonna lie, I think Monsoon Chocolate was number two. So if I had to pick any two places, I'd recommend those two. But obviously every single place is very very, very good uh, so you really can't go wrong when it comes to eating Mexican down here or any type of food uh, to be honest but anyways thanks as always for watching guys and we'll see you very soon for more videos from out here in sunny Arizona so stay tuned